10 scientifically validated medicinal plants. Before going forward hit subscribe button and press bell icon for notification of every upcoming video. Lagundi Lagundi commonly known as the Chinese chase tree, five-leaved chase tree, or horseshoe vitex, or nishinda is a large aromatic shrub with quadrangular, densely whitish, tomentose branchlets. It is widely used in folk medicine, particularly in South and Southeast Asia. Uses Lagundi is used for treating stored garlic against pests and as a cough remedy in the Philippines. It is also used to control mosquitoes. In Malaysia, it is used in traditional herbal medicine for women's health, including treatments for regulating the menstrual cycle, fibrocystic breast disease and postpartum remedies. It has antiseptic, astringent, anti-inflammatory and antipyretic properties. In the U.S., it grows in hardiness zones 6 to 9 and its purple flowers bloom most of the summer and it is a popular plant visited by bees and butterflies. Relief of asthma and pharyngitis. Recommended relief of rheumatism, dyspepsia, boils, diarrhea. Treatment of cough, colds, fever and flu and other bronchopulmonary disorders. Alleviate symptoms of chicken pox. How to. Boil half cup of chopped fresh or dried leaves in 2 cups of water for 10 to 15 minutes. Drink half cup 3 times a day. For skin diseases or disorders, apply the decoction, boil in water, of leaves and roots directly on skin. The root is specially good for treating dyspepsia, worms, boils, colic and rheumatism. A decoction, boiling in water, of the roots and leaves of Lagundi are applied to wounds and used as aromatic baths for skin diseases. Boiled seeds are eaten in order to prevent the spreading of toxins and venom from bites of poisonous animals. Juice extracted from the flowers of Lagundi plant is taken in as an aid for disorders like fever, diarrhea, liver disorders, and even cholera. While a decoction of the plant leaves is suggested to be taken by individuals to help. Sambong Sambong is a flowering plant belonging to the genus Blumea of the family Asteraceae. It's also known as Gai Camphor and Sambong. The Sambong is found in the tropical and subtropical zones of Asia, especially the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. Sambong is one of its species that is used in Southeast Asia. A weed, this plant is a ruderal species that often grows on disturbed land and in grasslands. Uses in most of the Philippines, B. balsamifera is called sambong in the Tagalog language, but in Visayas it is known as bukid cod, and in Ilocos it is sometimes called subusib, subsub, or sobsub. Its primary uses are as a diuretic, or water pill, and to treat symptoms of the common cold. As a diuretic, sambong is an herb used to treat urolithiasis, urinary tract or kidney stones, and urinary tract infections, and thus reduces high blood pressure. Good as a diuretic agent. Effective in the dissolving kidney stones. Aids in treating hypertension and rheumatism. Treatment of colds and fever. Anti-diarrheic properties. Anti-gastralgic properties. Helps remove worms, boils. Relief of stomach pains. Treats dysentery, sore throat. How to. A decoction, boiling in water, of sambong leaves as like tea, and drink a glass three or four times a day. The leaves can also be crushed or pounded and mixed with coconut oil. For headaches, apply crushed and pounded leaves on forehead and temples. Decoction, boiled in water, of leaves is used as sponge bath. Decoction, boil in water, of the roots, on the other hand, is to be taken in as cure for fever. Impalaya. Impalaya, bitter melon, bitter apple, bitter gourd, bitter squash, balsam pear, with many more name, a tropical and subtropical vine of the family Cucurbitaceae, widely grown in Asia, Africa, and the Caribbean for its edible fruit. Its many varieties differ substantially in the shape and bitterness of the fruit. Bitter melon originated from the South Indian state of Kerala and was introduced into China in the 14th century. It is widely used in the cuisines of East Asia, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. Uses 
Impalaya has been used in various Asian and African herbal medicine systems for a long time. In Turkey, it has been used as a folk remedy for a variety of ailments, particularly stomach complaints. In traditional medicine of India, different parts of the plant are used as claimed treatments for diabetes, particularly polypeptide P, an insulin analog, and as a stomachic, laxative, antibilious, emetic, anthelmintic agent, for the treatment of cough, respiratory diseases, skin diseases, wounds, ulcer, gout, and rheumatism. Good for rheumatism and gout, and diseases of the spleen and liver. Aids in lowering blood sugar levels. Helps in lowering blood pressure. Relives headaches. Disinfects and heals wounds and burns. Can be used as a cough and fever remedy. Treatment of intestinal worms, diarrhea. Helps prevent some types of cancer. Enhances immune system to fight infection. For treatment of hemorrhoids. Is an antioxidant and parasiticide. Is antibacterial and antipyreti. How to. For coughs, fever, worms, diarrhea, diabetes, juice and palaya leaves and drink a spoonful daily. For other ailments, the fruit and leaves can both be juiced and taken orally. For headaches, wounds, burns and skin diseases, apply warmed leaves to afflicted area. Powdered leaves, and the root decoction, boil in water, may be used as stringent and applied to treat hemorrhoids. Internal parasites are proven to be expelled when the impalaya juice, made from its leaves, is extracted. The impalaya juice, and grounded seeds is to be taken one spoonful thrice a day, which also treats diarrhea, dysentery, and chronic colitis. Garlic. Garlic is native to Central Asia and Northeastern Iran, and has long been a common seasoning worldwide, with a history of several thousand years of human consumption and use. It was known to ancient Egyptians, and has been used both as a food flavoring and as a traditional medicine. In ancient Rome, it was much used for food among the poor. China produces some 80% of the world's supply of garlic. India lies a distant second to China. Use is good for the heart. Helps lower bad cholesterol levels LDL. Aids in lowering blood pressure. Remedy for arteriosclerosis. May help prevent certain types of cancer. Boosts immune system to fight infection. With antioxidant and antibacterial properties. Cough and cold remedy. Relives sore throat. Aids in the treatment of tuberculosis. Helps relieve rheumatism pain. Relief of toothaches. Kills skin fungus i.e. Athlete's foot. How to. For disinfecting wound, crush and juice the garlic bulb and apply. You may cover the afflicted area with a gauze and bandage. For sore throat, peel the skin and chew for several minutes. Swallow the juice. For toothaches, crush then bite garlic. For athlete's foot, soak feet in salty water then apply garlic juice. Do this 3x day for a week. Cloves of garlic may be crushed and applied to affected areas to reduce the pain caused by arthritis, toothache, headache, and rheumatism. Decoction, boil in water, of the bawang bulbs and leaves are used as treatment for fever. For nasal congestion, steam and inhale, vinegar, chopped garlic, and water. Guava is a common tropical fruit cultivated in many tropical and subtropical regions. Common guava, lemon guava is a small tree in the myrtle family, native to Mexico, Central America, the Caribbean and Northern South America. Although related species may also be called guavas, they belong to other species or genera, such as the pineapple guava. In 2016, India was the largest producer of guavas, with 41% of the world total. Guavas originated from an area thought to extend from Mexico or Central America and were distributed throughout tropical America and the Caribbean region. They were adopted as a crop in subtropical and tropical Asia, the southern United States from Tennessee and North Carolina south, as well as the West and Hawaii, tropical Africa, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Oceania. Guavas are now cultivated in many tropical and subtropical countries. Uses the fresh leaves are used to facilitate the healing of wounds and cuts. A decoction, boiling in water, or infusion of fresh leaves can be used for wound cleaning to prevent infection. Bayabas is also effective for toothaches. Antiseptic, astringent and anthelminthic. Kills bacteria, fungi and amoeba used to treat diarrhea, nose bleeding. For hypertension, diabetes and asthma. Promotes menstruation. Prevents pimples, blackheads and skin blemishes. 
How to Boil 1 cup of bayabas leaves in 3 cups of water for 8 to 10 minutes. Let cool. Use decoction, boiled water, as mouthwash, gargle. Use as wound disinfectant, wash affected areas with the decoction, boiled in water, of leaves 2 to 3 times a day. Fresh leaves may be applied to the wound directly for faster healing. For toothaches, chew the leaves in your mouth. For diarrhea, boil the chopped leaves for 15 minutes in water, and strain. Let cool, and drink a cup every 3 to 4 hours. To stop nosebleed, densely roll bayaba's leaves, then place in the nostril cavities. For pimples and other skin disorders, apply to the skin with a cotton ball. Simbapogon, better known as lemongrass, is a genus of Asian, African, Australian, and tropical island plants in the grass family. Some species, particularly Simbapogon citratus, are commonly cultivated as culinary and medicinal herbs because of their scent, resembling that of lemons, citrus limon. Common names include lemon grass, barbed wire grass, silky heads, citronella grass, cha de dartigalong, fever grass, tanglid, hirba luisa, or gavati chahapati, amongst many others. Uses Lemongrass is widely used as a culinary herb in Asian cuisines and also as a medicinal herb in India. It has a subtle citrus flavor and can be dried and powdered or used fresh. It is commonly used in teas, soups, and curries. It is also suitable for use with poultry, fish, beef, and seafood. It is often used as a tea in African countries such as Togo, southeastern Ghana Volta region and the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Latin American countries such as Mexico. Lemongrass oil is used as a pesticide and a preservative. Research shows that lemongrass oil has antifungal properties. Despite its ability to repel some insects, such as mosquitoes, its oil is commonly used as a lure to attract honey bees. Lemongrass works conveniently as well as the pheromone created by the honeybee's nisanov gland, also known as attractant pheromones. Because of this, lemongrass oil can be used as a lure when trapping swarms or attempting to draw the attention of hived bees. Citronella grass nardus and winterianus grow to about 2 meters and have magenta-colored base stems. These species are used for the production of citronella oil, which is used in soaps, as an insect repellent especially mosquitoes in insect sprays and candles and in aromatherapy. The principal chemical constituents of citronella, geraniol and citronellol, are antiseptics, hence their use in household disinfectants and soaps. Besides oil production, citronella grass is also used for culinary purposes, as a flavoring. Citronella is usually planted in home gardens to ward off insects such as whitefly adults. Its cultivation enables growing some vegetables e tomatoes and broccoli without applying pesticides. Intercropping should include physical barriers, for citronella roots can take over the field. Lemongrass oil, used as a pesticide and preservative, is put on the ancient palm leaf manuscripts found in India as a preservative. It Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. And join us for our next video.